Hey YouTube, it's Adrian. Just before we get you to this video, do me a favor and head over to pageantlaunch.com. We are starting the world's first dedicated pageant review site, and I would love for you to join our launch team. All you need to do is put in your email address. It's completely free. We are looking to make a pageant industry that is safe, transparent, and fair. I know it's like that most of the time, but over the last year, it's become very evident that it's not like that all of the time. So head over to pageantlaunch.com, put in your email address, and let's get you to this. I'm Ellie Corcoran, and I'm Miss Genie Teen Great Britain 2019, and this is my interview with The Pageant Project. What's up, guys? Oh, it's Adrian go. from the Pageant <laughs> Project. I'm just telling Ellie that we're so professional that I screwed it up. Um, first off, can you let me know if this is working? Because the audio, uh, for some reason, I was playing around on the computer, and I'm not sure that you can hear Ellie. So, um, Ellie, can you just say hello? Hello. I'm Ellie. All right. can you, if you guys can hear Ellie, please let us know, because this is going to be a horrible interview if you can only hear me and not hear her. Um, but as we said, we'll pretend Ellie said nothing, and I've got Ellie Corker in with me, Miss Junior Teen GB 2019. Ellie, how are you? I'm good. I'm a bit nervous, but excited. So. Why are you fun. nervous? Why I don't know. I'm more nervous for this than I was for my actual interview for Teen GB. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's live. Maybe I don't. I thing. don't understand. Everyone is saying that they can hear you good. Um, I don't good. think this is why I put up a question on my Instagram. I've not made anyone feel nervous. I mean, I can try. You can be the first one that I could make feel really nervous and ask really, really awkward questions if you want. Oh, well, go easy on me. Go easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now, uh, I have put up a poll about your famous Aussie accent or your infamous oh, Aussie gosh. accent. And I, I know you can't see this, so it, it said, should I get Ellie to do her Aussie accent? And I've given the audience three options. One is yes, one is no, and one is hell yes. Um, so guys, vote on that. So far, no one has voted no. It's split between yes and hell yes. But guys, vote on that. Um, and then if enough people vote yes or hell yes, and I'll get Ellie to do her I accent. Have been, I have been practicing, actually, so maybe it's all right. And I can do a Scottish one as well. So. Everyone can do a Scottish accent. I practiced I it. Cause... Bethany obviously has, and now you have as well. Yeah, I think it's because Dion's on the mic 24-7 at Galaxy. I think everyone's just picked it up. Is your Dion impression better than Beth's? Um, She's I don't watching, know. by the way. So You'll this have is a to be the judge of that. <laughs> so do you have a Dion impression like Beth? I mean, Beth literally had a sentence. Yeah. I So... Um, let me do best one so you have a good comparison. Contestant 32, Bethany Blessed, you're Miss Teen Galaxy Northampton Shed. Okay. And now a yours? Lot of people, a lot of people say when I do my Scottish accent that everyone sounds like Olivia McPake when I do my Scottish accent, so I don't know why. Olivia McPake with this with a Scottish McPake. accent and, and my parents and... Oh, Appearance and wee whimpering noises. My dogs see they they make these wee whimpering noises wimpering and they jump up noises. on the couch. Oh God. Okay. I'm sorry, Olivia. I I can't help myself. I've never interviewed anyone. When I interviewed Olivia, I literally had people writing in telling me how much they loved her accent. They couldn't understand what, what she was saying, but they loved her accent. I was like, it's okay. very soothing. I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, now we'll i'll read out the comments to you rebecca jane everson has said well doesn't she look all gb themed you do too well done i do actually yeah and she said pretty little human love you ellie you're not that small though beth is tiny you're you're, you're yeah. normal size right you're people size no i'm five eight um and then Ooh, beth's you're like huge. five foot <laughs> Beth, Beth, I think it's you've you've stolen a couple of inches. Of Beth, Beth is watching. Beth, you're five two, right? Poor old um, yeah. Imogen Chapman is five. Ellie Mia Zisha has said, "Hey, XX." Uh, Hello. Okay, guys, um, I will read out the questions. I'll let Ellie go through later and go through the messages of support. Otherwise, I end up being here the whole time and just reading out messages of support to Ellie, and we never do anything. So, Ellie, let's start with the easy stuff. Can you tell okay. the people at home? 
why you got involved in pageantry to begin with and sort of your pageant journey up until this point. So I entered uh, Miss Teen Great Britain, well, Little Miss Teen Great Britain, um, coming up to four years ago, which makes me feel really old, even though I'm really young. Um, so I first entered Teen GB just to boost my confidence because I've always been, like, when I was younger, I was always very bubbly, very outgoing. And then when I went to high school, I think I just lost that side of me. And then pageants have really, like, brought it back and, like, brought my sparkle back out of me. Um, so I'm really grateful for them for that. And then I've literally been addicted since. I've never stopped, like, working for this title. And now that I've got it, it feels really weird, like, to not be working towards it. But, uh, yeah, I'm so happy now that I've got it. <laughs> So how many times did you compete for the um, for the title? So it was third time lucky for me, so three times in total. And then when wow. I go back this this time in October to hand over, it'll be my fourth PJ party, which is a bit crazy. I think Holly might be sick of me by now, but let's hope not. <laughs> so the question has to be after this, after your reign is over, and who knows, maybe in October we're still stuck indoors. We hope not. Yeah. But what comes after this? Uh, after this, gone all um, gangster. Well, right Do you now, take a break? I'm, um, probably. Well, right now, of course, like because I've got my dream title, I'm really focusing on this, just um, making sure that I can do the best that I can do with the title that I've got now, even though we're indoors. But definitely after, um, I'm going to take a break from my GCSEs, focus on school. Um, but my pageant journey definitely isn't over. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna say for now. You can't get Always hush that hush. Easy. Always it secret. Is very... I don't know which one is more secret: uh, pageant girls' future pageant plans or their um, their fashion choices. One, one or the other. Yeah, it's, their dresses. Mm -hmm. You can never never get out. Of okay, so Edison Holmes has said, get that Australian accent out. Uh, Edison, I'm not gonna get anything out unless you voted. So far, it's 33% yes and 67% hell yes. Uh, Bethany Blissett has said she's five foot one. Okay, so you're right in the middle. I gave you an extra inch and um, Ellie took an inch away. We were both wrong. Yeah, <laughs> uh, equally wrong as well. Natalie Path has said, hi, gorgeous girl. Uh, Mrs. Galaxy UK. And our first question, congratulations, Liv. She has asked, what color dress do you suggest for the opening number, red, white, or blue? Oh, that's a good question. So I've had all three, and for me, red was the winning choice because I wore red when I won. But I think it really doesn't matter because, of course, you're not getting judged on that round anyway. So I think what just looks best on you and your skin tone, don't worry about what everyone else is wearing because um, you don't get judged. So just yeah. wear your favourite colour, I guess. Um, and on the subject of that pageant, do you have any tips for people, young girls obviously, who may be going to Miss Miss Teen Great Britain? Um, they're going to ask you for tips because obviously you're the queen. So you've been through three yeah. times. So any yeah, tips? Three times. So I think my biggest tip that I can give anyone entering Teen GB is just have fun, because Teen GB it's obviously a teen pageant, so they want you to enjoy yourself. Um, it's spread over two days, so you get to meet the girls on the first day and just have fun. Don't be too focused on the crown because, of course, everyone wants to win. But like Holly says, although it is brutal, you have got like a one in 50 shot of taking home the crown. So if you can take home more from the experience, whether that be memories or friends or confidence, then you're going to gain a lot more than just the crown. And how do you think you've changed as a person over those three years? So from where you were to where you are now? I think I've just got a lot more grateful and a lot more humble and remembered where I've come from. Um, it's really made me realise like how lucky I am because when you're doing pageants for going to different events, you see so many amazing different cultures and people and where they've come from. And it just really makes you realise I'm so lucky for where I come from and like the family that I have. So that's definitely what I've learned as a queen as well not just and throughout my years whereabouts in the uk are you because i'm fascinated by all these different places and accents um so i live in anglesey it's the last point of land before you go to ireland um so you can get like a boat from ireland to here it's like two hours which is quite handy um but yeah it's north wales so it's a very pretty place to live it's very touristy um mm -hmm. but it's very pretty you should have come here one time i think you'd like it 
And do you have a typical accent? Because you don't sound Welsh to me. At least, at least everyone's no. been imitating Welsh to me and you don't sound like that. Well, I can, go, when I'm with my friends, I think I go a little bit more Welsh, but I think my mum and dad are English and all of their families are English. So, and because of every weekend I'm away. So I think I've just not got the Fair Welsh enough. accent, unfortunately. Okay, and on the subject of accents, Bethany did her Welsh accent, and she did the. I'm not going to. I'm not. Gonna, I can't do a Welsh accent. I'm not going to lie I'm not to you. Can lie you? To you. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes I can go really Welsh, but obviously this is South Wales. Um, North Wales is a little bit different. No, I would say North Wales is more like Lauren Parkinson. She's a very good North Wales person. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You, you seem to have had a bit more practice with your accents. You seem to be able to just slip into them and out of them very easily. Yeah. Beth needed to prepare herself. I know. Well, Beth, I think she, Beth's a very giggly person, so maybe that's why. I can just slide I, in. I, I did notice that. Okay, guys, you've got to vote for the accent. If you, want, um, if you want Ellie to do her Australian accent, we need more votes. There's only been three votes. I mean, they're all yes, but I, I want more votes. Uh, Sarah Blissett has said, Hi, Ellie. Cannot wait for you to come and stay again. Yeah. Miss you with an X. Yes, you too. Kelsey Fulton, Miss Galaxy 2020. Oh, I love this queenie. What a gem. Oh, thank you, Kelsey. Liv Davies has asked, are you going to be at the weekend rehearsals this year? Uh, the weekend rehearsals for Team GB? I definitely will for Team GB um, because that's what we have to do as a queen. We have to guide the girls, which I'm very excited about. Because I think um, the whole weekend is just so fun. And then obviously just being there and not competing, having the stress of you not competing, is will be fun. Just enjoy okay. it. Um, Bethany's asking, is it just me or the audio just cut? I think everyone, guys, you can still hear us, right? Because I'm not seeing any change. Let me know if, you, if we've gone muted. Um, Libby has, and I was going to ask this, Libby Fern has asked, who is your pageant inspiration? Lots of love. So who is your pageant inspiration? Um, I have so many pageant inspirations, but I think for me, I think like everyone, Katrina Gray, um, she was the Miss Universe, I think it was 2018. Yeah, she's definitely one of my biggest inspirations um, just because she's so elegant and graceful and she's not afraid to like be herself. Like She obviously mm -hmm. supported her campaign for body positivity and I think that's amazing and she's definitely somebody that I look up to in the pageant world. The Charlie Cousin has asked you a tricky question. Who is your pageant best friend? Oh, well, <laughs> of course, Beth is like my bestie, bestie, bestie friend. Um, but I've met so many amazing girls through pageants like Millie Jo, Edison, May, Ruby, Jasmine Huggins. There's so many. Um, I think if I was to list every single one, then I'd literally be here for ages. But yeah, there's so yeah. many amazing people. And you'd also leave someone out and someone would get very upset. Charlie has okay. also asked, do you go to a lot of events throughout the year? I mean, not at the moment. No one's going anywhere, but not normally. Not at the moment, but yes, I do try and go to her parents every single weekend, whether that be local or just up and down the country. So I'm really grateful for my mum and her little mini uh, that drives me up and down the country. Um, I, th I technically say that I drive the car because I'm like the sat nav. And she just presses the pedals, but I think she could disagree with that. You're the set yeah. nav. I'm the sat nav. <laughs> I, I tell her, Mum, go in this lane. We need to go in the third exit. <laughs> I'm Kelly Corker and sat nav. That, that's where you can practice your accent. You could be a sat nav in all these different accents. Exactly. I'm going to crack the Siri accent next, definitely. That's just a generic American accent, isn't it, Siri? Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Uh, Liv has also asked, are the Miss Teen interviews scary? Not at all. So um, the Miss Teen Great Britain interviews, I think they're about three minutes. So that can be a little bit daunting because although they're very short, you have to get everything that you want to say out. But right. to me, they're not scary at all. Um, last year I had – it was – chloe that was helping out chloe lake mm -hmm. and she was outside i'm not sure if she's doing it again this year but there'll be somebody that'll there to calm you down just have a little chat before you go in um but the judges are always so nice and most of them would have been in a pageant so they 
know what you think that what you're going through right now so they're very understanding and it's very chill did you have any coaching for the interview section Ellie? um so for me one thing that i did and i think a lot of girls do this is um before the finals you write down why you entered and what did you want to achieve from the experience because i think that's a very common question that a lot of girls get asked but they just stumble mm. on it because i think it, they overthink it and i think you just need to go back to your roots like why did you enter what did you want to gain from the experience and i think if you get that out in your interview and say why you should win then you'll come out feeling accomplished and that you've not just wasted your three minutes and to make an impact on the judges i mean those three minutes have to go super quick right so quick literally um it's holly's mum that actually times the interviews and it's that's right it's crazy it's crazy fast you walk in you sit down then you walk back out it's mad it's just a blur. Um, you a mentioned blur. that in your three minutes, you, you want to talk about what would you want to achieve. So for yourself, what was yes. it that you want to achieve? So for me, a big talking point in my interview and something that I really stressed the judges was my campaign. So I started a cam my campaign. I think it's coming up to nearly a year ago that I started it. My campaign wow. is called Be Confident, Be You. And the whole point of this campaign was just to encourage girls to love themselves and break out of the mold of what society sets of the perfect girl um, mm -hmm. and just be yourself so what I've done is um, throughout the finals when I was a finalist I got girls to post a no makeup selfie with the hashtags be confident be you and if you haven't already done it, done it then just post a photo on Instagram and tag me and then I'll repost it um, but I've had an amazing response and for me it was only even if I just like inspired one girl to just be themselves and be confident in who they are then that would have been an achievement for me but we've had yeah. over 70 girls joining the campaign wow. and that's been incredible so I definitely want to make it to 100 before I hand over my title but it's something that I hold really close to my heart and I'll definitely carry on after I've handed over so tell the girls again if they want to get involved so you said you're on 70 you want to try and get to 100 hopefully even more how can they yes. get involved so all you have to do is post a no makeup selfie on Instagram, either on your feed or on your story with the hashtags mm -hmm. be confident, be you. Um, tag me in the post and then I'll repost it on my page. And then hopefully we should get a few more girls involved and help me reach that 100 goal. <laughs> Perfect. Because there's a lot of you watching. You might actually have the most concurrent viewers i've ever seen so oh, um obviously a lot of people record. are tuned yeah you, i think i can't keep the numbers um guys you're asking me where to vote i had a poll up and i know these facebook live polls are very weird at the best of times so here's what we'll do the the panel to the um to the right of ellie's face underneath has your comments the comments only stay up for 12 seconds however so if you want Ellie to do her Aussie accent, I need you to put a thumbs up emoji in the comments. And if enough of you put the thumbs up emoji in the comments and it reaches the top, then I will get Ellie to do her accent. How does that sound? So you all need to okay. thumbs up, not, not, not the like, but the thumbs up emoji in the comments. And if it reaches a top where it says that pink follow, then I will get Ellie to do her Aussie accent. Ellie, what were you saying? <laughs> We're really hyping this accent up. It's not that great, guys. It's nothing like revolutionary. We, just, we need to lower our expectations a little bit. Your Aussie accent's a bit... Uh-oh. It's not at the top, guys, yet. It's only a halfway... Oh, dear. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That happened quick. Oh, no, it's still... Uh, Ellie, well... Um, oh, dear. Are you... Oh, wow. Uh, uh, okay you, oh it's... my god I, you can stop it's, it's already dead <laughs> what uh, uh ellie uh over to you oh i don't even know what to say now um so really i just started my australian accent because if any of you don't know that I'm absolutely obsessed with Bondi Rescue and I've always said to my mum, mum, I want to be a lifeguard. I want to be the real life Pamela Anderson and just move to Bondi Beach and just save the people from the water and just be a Bondi babe. So I've always been obsessed with Bondi Rescue and that's my accent. That's that's not bad at all. I, I've said a couple, three things with the Aussie accent. You say rather than mate, you say might. You've got that. Right. 
And rather than saying things like water, they can't say er, they, it's ah, so it's not water, it's water. And water. also the, the last thing is you must not move your lips or your mouth. So for example, the favorite expression is how are you going? The, I can say it without moving my mouth. It's like, how are you going? How it's not going? how are you going, it's how are you going? How are you going? Yeah, it, it's lazy. It's just how are you going? Do you, think, do you think I could qualify for like Miss Teen Galaxy Australia now? Because I can do the good Aussie accent. No, because you sound too bogan. Your, your, your Aussie accent literally is someone in the middle of the outback who's roasting lizards over a campfire. We don't sound Ooh. like that in the city. You, you've gone full on like um, crocodile, like with Steve Irwin, that really, oh, crikey, mate. We, we don't actually speak like that. Uh, I'm enthusiastic with it, okay? I'm enthusiastic. We have to you be are. enthusiastic. You, you, you enunciate too clearly. I can understand what you're saying. If you okay. want to be a true Australian, you have to not move your mouth and everything is just run into one sentence and every everyone you have to start giving one everyone nicknames like you probably be okay. e elo or a hey, corco yeah or something Actually, like that in, in my i'm a if some people don't know i scoop ice cream as like a job after school um and my nickname in work is elbow so maybe that can be my australian nickname as well just, just greet everyone for the next week or so with Oi, Elo, how you going? Or Oi, whatever okay. they know, like Beth would be Betho. Oh, Oi, I Betho, mean, how I you going, mate? I don't know who I'll be seeing in, in quarantine. <laughs> when you, when you but... FaceTime, when you FaceTime, be Oi, okay. Betho, how you going? Betho, Betho, come here. That's going to be her new name now. Betho, Betho or Blisso. <laughs> Blisso, Oi, Blisso, mate. Blisso, mate, has actually asked, what's your favourite pageant memory? I have so many um i think maybe one of my favorite ones is just after i won um so the day after i just had my crown and it was me edison imogen chapman and little ellie and then all of uh, ellie zisha and then all of our like mm. parents and grandparents we were all in the bar um and we laughed and laughed and laughed all night and it was like that's i think that's one of my favorite pageant memories my mum was doing headstands we were doing tiktoks it was great your, your mum was definitely... doing headstands headstands were you there at galaxy my mum's like kind of famous for her headstand oh, in was she... Land. Oh, now i remember someone some woman was upside down i was like what was going on that was your mum that's my mum yeah <laughs> why why not why is she no, your mum why is she headstanding <laughs> it's like her party trick i don't know why she just does it everywhere she goes even if we're in a restaurant or something she will do a she'll do a headstand even if she's wearing a dress you're like i don't know how she does it but normally it it's the, the normally it's the dads whose job is to embarrass their daughters not the mums no i think it's me and my dad that get embarrassed at my mum so, she, but she's great. I think everyone, I, everyone likes Joe. <laughs> and you headstand? Can I headstand? No. I have tried, can, and I do not inherit that skill. Can you <laughs> handstand? Pardon? Can you handstand? Oh yeah, I can handstand, just not headstand. Unfortunately. How how odd. <laughs> Edison, speak of the devil. Edison has asked, what made the Team GB system so special to you? With an X. Um, I think I had a lot of attachment because obviously it was my first pageant, and mm. um, I think I had a lot of attachment to the people that were in it. So of course the team is incredible. And once I went back my second year, I really thought this is the system for me um, because it's all about having fun. And obviously I'm so young, I'm only 15, mm. that I think it's the right system for me at the time. And I'm so glad that I kept going back because it's really been a dream to represent that system. Um, like it actually gets me quite emotional. I'm not gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna be like at my handover. I'm already getting emotional just thinking about it. But yeah, it's definitely, but I think one of the best team pageants in the world. I, th I think uh, people in the Miss Teen pageant seem to be quite 
emotional. I mean, if history is anything to go by, I mean, Imogen Chapman leads the way. She cries at everything. Um, but yeah. there's a lot of photos of tears, <laughs> tears, and waterproof mascara is really going to come in handy, I think, for you. I know. I'm re I really need some waterproof mascara and a pack of tissue somewhere. Yeah, I even <laughs> asked Imogen if she had any tips for that. She said, you just dab it in the corner of your just eye. Dab it like in the this. Uh, I think there's a photo of her doing that. There is. That, <laughs> she's the expert at crying. Um, also for, for Edison, her, see her nickname, her Australian nickname should be Holmesy. Holmesy, exactly. Yeah, so you've got Betho and Holmesy. Uh, Liv Davies has asked, as Molly May was one of the judges last year, is there a celebrity judge this year? Um, I have no idea who the judges are going to be this year. Yeah. Um, it's I think it's only Holly and the team that know prior um, to the competition. But you do find out on the day of competing. However, mm -hmm. you do meet them beforehand and like they introduce themselves. So when you go into the room, you're not like completely starstruck. And like even if there is a celebrity judge, like you know who's going to be in the room, so you can kind of compose yourself. Amazing. Uh, and she said, lots of love, Ellie. Thank you for the advice. Charlie <laughs> Cousin, with the interview, if you stumble and mess your words up, does it ruin the interview? No. I I always stumble on my words. Um, I, I don't know if it's just me, but it definitely hasn't affected me in the past. Um, like I said before, like the judges know what you're going through and they know how nerve-wracking it can be. Um, but just... Even if you do, it's that how you recover is what matters. So just brush yourself off and carry on. You haven't stumbled at all during this interview. You stumbled I during the introduction. Yeah, I'm quite I'm quite surprised, to be honest. I thought I forgot how to speak because we've been in isolation for so long. <laughs> do you want to try doing the introduction again now? I should know. Bad, bad past experience. <laughs> uh, Ellie Mia has said that was the best night. Millie Joe has said your mum is a legend. And Beth Blissett has said Joanna Corcoran is a champ. Now I really want to see this headstand. Um, um, I can send you a video. I think um, it's Heather Hopkins and Mia Lewis that absolutely love her headstands. They crack themselves up about it. I'd be impressed if Heather Hopkins could do a headstand, being like six foot tall. I think getting taller makes it harder to do a headstand. I would know. I, I'm six foot one, so I'm not doing it. Uh, Sandal Taylor has asked, what is one piece of advice you would give to someone who wants to compete but has not yet? Um, I'd say go for it because you never – if it's going to be your first time competing and you're a little bit scared, you never know what could happen. So my advice is just go for it. Um, there's always going to be somebody there to like guide you. Like myself and my sister Queens, Nancy and Yaz, we're always happy to help and answer any questions that you may have. So there's no harm in trying. And if you don't want to do it again, then you don't want to do it again. It's completely up to you. But I think everyone that does a pageant absolutely falls in love and they can't get rid of it. <laughs> when is the pageant supposed to be again, Ellie? Is it in October? Yes, it's meant to be in October. Right. If all okay. the plan. Fingers crossed. Um, that's also when International Galaxy is supposed to be. So hopefully it is, the, and I'm the... meant to be going to that as well. So, I don't know. You might be quite busy that month. Maybe. And it's my birthday that month. It's my 16th birthday that in October. So when is your birthday? It's the 7th of October. Well, I have, the, have same the same birthday as Simon Cowell. Well, you have the same birthday as my dad, and you are also oh. your birthday is a day before Danielle's, Danielle Latimer's. <gasps> oh, is Danielle on the 8th? She's the eighth of the eight, uh, eighth of the tenth. Yeah, eight's her lucky number. Gosh. So our Seven's plan is. Seven's my lucky number. Actually, it was really weird because before I won, um, I would be the seventh. I think I would be the seventh Miss Junior Team Great Britain, and seven's <laughs> my lucky number. <laughs> so it all lined up really. Worked. It worked well for you. Do you like pizza? Yeah. Yeah. Cause Not pineapple plan... on pizza though. No, thank you for saying that. Thank you. No. I'm just. Not I a fan. Hate... No, I don't know. I don't. Guys, do you like pineapple on pizza? Answer that question in the comments because I do not. Um, but yeah, the, yeah. the plan, because with uh, Galaxy International being in October, obviously, I, I want to go and visit there as well. And Chicago is famous for its deep dish pizza. That's why I, I asked about pizza. Um, and nice. you won't be competing. 
so you can no, indulge exactly. so i can eat as much as i want exactly that'll be Whereas... the dream we can eat it in front of the galaxy girls and talk them. <laughs> yeah. uh, Liv Davies has asked, what would you say? This is a very pageant question. What would you say is the best way to curl your hair? Um, I use, actually, I've got my curlers here. So I use a really big barrel curl and because um, I've got quite thick hair anyway. Um, it just, I hold it on for about 10 seconds and pin curl it. That is what I do. But my mum's a hairdresser and she does all my hair for when we go to appearances and stuff. And I get a few compliments on it. So, so your mum does your hair? Does. Yes. Your mum drives you? Is there anything else that she does? Well, she's the entertainment for her headstands. She's the chauffeur and the hairstylist. She's a, she's a woman of many talents. <laughs> beginning to beginning to see that uh let sarah blissett has said no oh is that for pizza uh the the pineapple on pizza molly patching yeah. said i hate pizza i do meet a couple of people who hate pizza but not um not I very don't know many how. that like mind boggles me because i meet people as well that don't like chocolate uh, and i'm like how do you not yeah. like chocolate like, I get really offended by it. Like, Who why do you not like chocolate? You take What's it personally, do you? What, do you, do yeah. you is, are there, I've not met a pageant girl who doesn't like chocolate. Is there a pageant girl who doesn't like chocolate? Well, I'm sure there is, because I'm sure somebody said, oh, yeah, I don't like chocolate. Can't remember okay. who, but I do remember getting quite offended. Okay. If, you, if you're <laughs> watching this and you don't like chocolate, um, please let us know in the comments. Uh, Kerry, Kerry Scobie has asked, do you have plans for after MTGB? What's your next pageant? Which we have discussed briefly. You're playing your cards close to your chest and not letting anyone know because it's a secret. Mm -hmm. uh, Keeping them close. Betho has said, same here. My lucky number is 12 and I was a 12th UK teen to win. W why have oh you put gosh. sad fate... She's put sad faces after that. What's wrong, Betho? You, you, you're sad it... about that. Betho, what's what? wrong? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, God, is... Everyone's going to start calling Bethany Betho. <laughs> Oi, Betho. Um, <laughs> Betho, Kate... Caitlin has said you're making me hungry. Good. Nicole has put pineapple, so she obviously a fan of pineapple. You've got so many comments. I'll let you go through these afterwards. Lol, okay. don't judge me, but I love pineapple. I, mm, it's not my favorite, but on pizza, it's just like, no. Um, Betho has asked, what are your hobbies aside from pageants? So I, um, I try and do a little bit of modeling. Um, that's really my dream job. Like in the fashion industry, I just, I'm so fascinated by like supermodels like Romy Strizz. She's a, like a huge inspiration for me, Kendall Jenner. Um, so that's really my dream job is to go into professional modeling. Um, and I've done a few shows before I've done mm. London fashion week for about five seasons. I think, I think my first season when I, was when I was like 13, um, and then I did New York Fashion Week last February. Oh, wow. Which was insane. What was that like? That was, it was amazing, but it was hectic. Like, it was very crazy. Well, oh, that's good. New York for you. I mean, what did you think of that New is, York? I loved it. So I went when I was nine. That was my first time. But then we wow. went in the winter for Fashion Week. Mm. Um, and I love it. Absolutely love it. I, I'm going to live there cold. one day. It would have been very cold. New York in winter. Freezing. It was freezing. It's all right, though. You're from the UK. You, you won't miss the sun. Yeah, we're used to it. I know. <laughs> uh, Cherry Lee Clark has asked, what do you feel you've done differently competing last year to any other year you've competed? Um, I know that everyone says this, and it's like easier said than done, but I just didn't focus on the competition I focus more on me and how can I make myself better from last year and mm -hmm. um I just really went back and analyzed like what what could I do that would make me a better version of me so whether that was um doing more fundraising or just making more appearances it was just something that would make me feel more confident going into the competition so that's definitely something that i did like go back and look at yourself and how you can improve on you 
very nice guys i'm going to take ellie through the final 10 questions in a sec and there's still a load of you watching and i'm still scrolling through the comments if you have any more questions make sure you put them in now because i don't want to miss them uh abby jones has said she doesn't like chocolate so there you go there's one uh how what i, I don't know uh, ask Abby. Um, Betho has said, it's not a sad face, it's a cute face. Like, I'm gonna cry because it's cute. But it looks really sad, Bethany. Like, it's got big <laughs> eyes and it's just... Anyway. Okay. Um, Ellie, before we go through the final ten, and guys, again, if you have any more questions, put them in the comments. Um, do you want to do some shout-outs? We've already talked about best friends and, and your mum and dad, but do you want to give anyone a shout-out for supporting you through your pageant journey? Um, I guess just to my school friends as well, because of course it's lovely to have so many like friendship groups within pageantry, but just to my school friends for like always supporting me and liking all my crazy fundraising things and everything to do with that. So thank you guys. You should thank you. Thank your director as well. Oh yeah. And thank you to my amazing director, Holly. No, seriously, I moida Holly so 24-7 with the most randomest questions. So I'm really sorry, Holly, but thank you so, so much um, for just creating what this amazing system. What sort of random questions? Well, I can't remember. I think I, I told her that I was eating loads of Jaffa cakes. I said something like that like yesterday. I don't. I she didn't know what to reply to, but I think she said I should see how many Jaffa cakes I can eat in like the space of a minute or something. Like how many can I? Eat? So that's you my challenge. Should, you should have had them right next to you. We could actually watch you on stream eat as many yes, Jaffa cakes as you can. Well, I think my yeah. mum's refused to buy me any more Jaffa cakes. So like, I think my world record in a day is like a whole big jumbo pack, like thirty of them. Okay, I, I don't. We don't have Jaffa cakes here. How big are these things? They're not that big. I'm just being a bit dramatic. They're like that big. Oh, that's that's tiny. I thought you were going to say they're like muffin size, and you ate thirty muffins <laughs> in one day, and I was going to be a bit sick. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Uh, don't know. We're we're doing strange things in isolation. It might have been a challenge to see how many you could eat before you were sick. Uh, Laura has asked, are you doing another pageant straight after MTGB or are you taking a break? So we're taking a break. Um, taking and when... a break, focus on school. Um, luckily, yeah. I'm very lucky that my school's really supportive of pageants, so they let me have the time off that I need to like go to appearances and stuff, but definitely focus on school for now. Cool. Uh, Madeline Yarell has asked, I am struggling to get appearance opportunities. Do you have any tips to get them? Um, obviously, not everyone, because everyone's in the same boat. So if you're worrying about mm. um, not making enough appearances for like your final, everyone's in the same position. So yeah. definitely don't worry about that. But I think just making on you're sure that your online presence is really prominent. So mm. getting involved. I know that there are loads of campaigns going on right now. You can take, get involved in mine. Um, I think my sister Queens have a few going on. Um, so just get involved in some campaigns. And then after the lockdown period is over, I'm sure you can find a few local ones that aren't too strenuous that you can make yeah. up for it. Yeah, there's also a few Facebook groups where people post up, like you, I've seen a lot of people post up any appearances coming up and everyone will jump in with their appearances. So my, my best advice would be get onto one of those Facebook groups and just ask because if there's anything coming up, they'll be able to tell you. Um, Betho has asked, what have you been trying to do during this time to help in the community? Um, so I've, of course, I've been carrying on with my campaign, but then also after planning like appearances that I can do after, so I work really closely with my local children's hospice called Tigob Ith. Um, throughout my year as a finalist, I was fundraising for not only them, but for Together for Short Lives. And all together, mm -hmm. I raised over £10,000 for them, um, which is amazing. So I actually had yeah. a ball planned to raise money for them. Um, but of course, because of Corona, that's unfortunately been cancelled. But definitely, yeah. I will be organising another one. If not this year, then definitely next year. Even though I won't be a queen, then it's still good to get involved in your community. Absolutely. Um, you just dropped a Welsh name in there. Can you can you say that really long Welsh name? 
that that really oh long. God. I was actually trying to do the, this with my mum the other day. I really can't do it. I can like see it up to a certain point. Well, so. well show us how much you can get. And then a little bit, and then it's Santa Cecilia. Go, go, go. go. Oh, I remember it's go, go, go at the end. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> That is a long word. Um, I know that Lauren can say it, and she just it just rolls off her tongue, and I'm like, oh my god, yeah. I don't think anyone else can I live say like, it. I live like 20 minutes away from there. There's That's a really probably good, how like, long it would, it would take me 20 yeah. minutes to say that word. Say it. <laughs> uh, Elon Perry has asked Ellie, is a Jaffa cake a cake or a biscuit? Oh, don't even get me started. Of course it's a cake. It literally says it in the name. The Jaffa cake. Okay, well, I don't understand what's going over on the UK. Um, Lauren asked, what did she ask? Is it the, the, the final meal, right, of the day? Did she, she yeah. said, is it tea or dinner? I can't believe how many people jumped in and said yeah. it's tea or dinner. There was like hundreds of comments. This is another, well, first off, do you call it tea or dinner? I don't understand. I call it tea, but my mum calls it dinner. So it can okay. get a bit confusing. All right. <laughs> and the other thing that really set people off was scones, or I don't know, you call, do you call it scones or scones? Scone. I don't scone. know, actually. I don't really say scone that often. Scone. 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 If you're coming to Australia, you need to say scone, not scone. People will say, think there's something wrong with you. Do you put the jam Every on first or the cream on first? I don't know. I don't, I've never, I don't think I've ever eaten a scone. Or scone. How can you not have eaten a scone? Don't know. Maybe they were all scone. <laughs> scone. Um, guys, you can you can let us know whether you call it tea or dinner, and whether you put jam or cream on first. Just put it in caps so I can see it. Okay, uh, Ellie, let's go through the final ten. Um, Caitlin has okay. said tea and biscuit. Sorry, but it's called a Jaffa cake. I don't no. I don't understand I don't understand why I you would call a Jaffa cake a biscuit. But I also don't understand yeah. why you would call it dinner tea because you drink tea, you eat dinner. But anyway, I'm not going to have. I don't, I don't want to start <laughs> the argument because it will go on forever. Okay, final ten, and you get the same final ten as everyone else. So the first one is what is your favourite word? Um, it's really weird. It's ricochet. It's like when something like bounces off something like ricochet. I don't know why. It just like rolls off the tongue. That is an unusual choice, to be sure. Question yeah. or, two. Um, what, is it? what is it? Rigidity. 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 Rigid. My, my biology teacher always says it. It's really <laughs> satisfying to say. Rigidity. <laughs> Rick, you sound like you like tongue twisters. R yeah. Have you, Maybe. Uh, do you... Do you know any tongue twisters? Um, Sandy sells seashells on the seashore. And then keep oh. saying it. She sells seashells by the seashore. Can you say that? Yeah. She sells seashells on the seashore. What about round the rugged rock, the ragged rascal ran? Round the rugged rock, the rugged rascal ran. I'm quite good at them, to be fair. Aren't I? I'm proud I think of you... myself. That, that you were could close. be my party piece. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> what was that? Question two. What is your least favourite word? Um... It's not because I don't like the sound of it. I just can't spell it. Business. I can't. I can't oh. spell business. Like I always spell it wrong. Yeah, busyness or bu buzziness. Busyness. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna Buzzy have to remember it like that. Buzziness, but it's got an I instead of a Y. Uh, Molly Patching has said dinner and cream on first. Oh, I told you. If we brought that up, people would just have this massive argument. Okay, I'll leave that for a sec. Question three is, in life, what gets you excited? What turns you on? Um, I guess my future. Like, I'll always be thinking about, like, I'll be adding new things to my bucket list. Like, I'm so excited for, like, what will come. Because I want to do so many things, and I don't know if I'll have time to do them. Hopefully I will. Fingers crossed. You like, don't to have do everything. 15. You're not, I hope you don't think you're going to run out of time. No, I... I don't think I've got a very long list of everything to do. What's um, what's the top thing on that bucket list? Uh, I guess be Miss Universe. Is do you have a goal to Classic be a VS model? Goal. 
Pardon? Do you have a goal to be a, a VS model, a Victoria's Secret model? Yes. Yes. That is actually okay. very much... Yeah. So the question 100%. then is, if you had to pick between the two, which one would you pick? Um, well, if I ever do actually enter Miss Universe, then I think that'll just be an achievement in itself. So I'll go with VS Angel. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> people are still talking. Molly has said it's flat like a biscuit. I don't know. Confuses me. But, I mean, like a pancake is like flat like a biscuit. We don't call that a biscuit. Anyway, um, question four. What turns you off? Um, mm, I guess when people say that I can't do something. So, like, if they say you can't do that, then that just, like, makes me want to do it even more. Yep. Not like I don't like not like I don't like the word no or anything, but if they say, Yeah, I bet you can't do that, then that'll just make me want to do it more. It just makes me determined. Yeah. Um, Betho has said, Are you sure your least favourite word isn't psycho? Because it's hard to spell and then she's just put dot dot dot. You you guys dot, copped dot, an dot. absolute Beat. You didn't cop a beating from the psychos. You copped a beating from Chloe Lake. Yeah, no, I think I think that we should all like psychos apart from Chloe should just like unite for one game and then just all go against Chloe because I think she she'd still beat us to be honest. She'd probably beat everyone with one hand tied behind her back. Um, she could take on the whole pageant community. She'd probably still win. Giant brain. Um, question five. What sound or noise do you love? Uh, waves. I go watch the I go and watch the sunset every single night, and I go and sit on like this little cliff, and then mm -hmm. you can just hear the waves like crashing. I really like that noise. Uh, that's beautiful. That, that that helps you think as well, and helps you yeah. put, helps you go into a happy place. Um, exactly. Well, what sound or noise do you hate? Oh, my mum sneezing. Like, her sneezes just really annoy me. Like, no offence, mum. I love you. She's probably, like, watching this right now. But her sneezes, oh, they just get right under my skin. She sounds like a little chihuahua when she sneezes. Well, it's very hard to do an impersonation of a sneeze, but can you, like, give us some idea of what it sounds like? She does, like, seven in a row. She's like, achoo, 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 achoo. like, what? Well. <laughs> Oh, hang on. So that. Oh, you do is glitching for. Oh, you're back. Um, you sound you sound like a chipmunk on helium, but that was a, yeah, that was a good yeah, impression. But... Mm -hmm. That's uh, how she sounds like. And how many does she do? Like seven in a row. She has like a sneezing fit. That's that's impressive. <laughs> uh, question seven. The most pageant esque question. If you could have any one superpower, what would you pick and why? Definitely invisibility. Like, imagine the mischief that you could go up to. That would just be so fun. I always like, worry. Just be invisible. I always worry about the ones who pick invisibility because that means they always want to get up to something. I probably would. I'd probably like go invisible in class or something, and, like take the teacher's chair while she's not looking, something like that. <laughs> uh, question eight: What? I mean, this is different for you because you're still at school. But what's a job that um, that you would like to try? Anything in the pageant industry? Not uh, anything like because I'd love to do what Holly does, so organise my own pageant or anything. That's like that would be really interesting to me, or anything within fashion i'd love to be a fashion buyer because you get to travel the world with that and that i'd that'd really be interesting that sounds like a good one traveling the world getting paid mm -hmm. to um to, to buy fashion you literally go shopping with somebody else's credit card and that is like my dream job <laughs> So. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people would agree with you on that one. Um, question nine, what job would you definitely not like to attempt? Maybe, even though I love Bondi Rescue, maybe like being a lifeguard because you always have to be on the ball and like get quite easily distracted. So maybe that, even though I love it so much. How do you feel about sharks? Being a lifeguard. I don't actually mind sharks. It's more dogs. I'm really scared of dogs. 
I'm yeah, really scared of dogs. They just scare me. Okay, like little chihuahuas yeah. or big ones, but all I, of them. I'm okay with puppies, just like anything that's bigger than like my foot. I'm really scared of. <laughs> <laughs> all right, final question: If heaven exists. What would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully, it's a long way I've off from you. My... <laughs> Maybe I've just used my time well on this planet because you only get one life, really. Well, I don't know, but on this planet, you only get one. So. I bet on one for now. So if you get another one, then that's a bonus, but. Yeah. So just that I've used my time well and that I took every opportunity with two hands, just not wasted any time. Ooh, okay, guys, sorry, we're back. Um, I don't actually think that was my internet for once. That was actually um, Facebook Live because people, so many people are going live at the moment that live is glitching all over the place. Um, but what, I don't know, can someone tell me what the last thing you heard from Ellie was? Because we did finish the final 10 before people started telling us that we, we had disappeared. So if you didn't hear the questions, let us know. Or if you have any final questions for Ellie before I let her go, also let me know that. Anyone? It takes a bit of time. They're on like a 10 or 20 second delay, so it takes them a bit of time. Any questions for Ellie? Sneeze, her mum's sneeze. Oh, the last thing they heard was the sneeze. Okay, that was... Oh. That was my least favorite sound. Okay, so what was the, um, what was the superpower that you wanted and why? Oh, invisibility, because imagine like the amount of mischief that you could get up to. That's right. I mean, if you could be invisible right I... now, what would you do right now? If I could make you invisible right now, what would you go and do now? Um, steal Jaffa oh. cakes. Maybe like sneak into Tesco, steal all the Jaffa cakes, just do my mum's shopping so she doesn't have to go in when there's loads of people there, just mm. prevent the corona spread. Yeah. That's very practically minded just of you. That. Okay, and then quest, question practical. question eight was dream job. What what's your, what's your dream job? Dream job, something to do within fashion. I think, of course, like my dream 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 job is to be a professional model, like a VS Angel or something. Mm. But then some like a fashion um, oh, what's it called? Buyer. I've forgotten. Fashion buyer. That's it. Uh, so I can travel and just go shopping with somebody else's credit card. That's 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 a very difficult job to have, Ellie. It's just, Indeed. You know, traveling first class <laughs> and buying nice clothes. What a what a horrible job. I know. Really. Uh, who are your who are your fashion inspirations? Um, I think Audrey Hepburn because of like her elegance oh, wow. and class. But then, um, I think I really like Rumi Stray. She's a Victoria's Secret angel. She has uh, the most amazing style, in my opinion. I really like it. Romy, that's an unusual name. Where is she from? She's from the Netherlands, I think. That's what I thought, yeah. yeah. The, Netherlands. the other Romy I know is, is yeah. from the Netherlands as well. Um, and yeah. the question nine was, what job would you definitely not like to attempt? Uh, being a lifeguard. But although I love Bondi Rescue, I just don't think I could like have people's lives in my hands, get too easily distracted from the water watching it. Then you said you're okay with sharks, but you're afraid of dogs. Uh, fine with sharks, yeah. Because I feel like, what is it? Is it Bear Grylls that taught me to, like, punch the shark oh, in the nose know. if you want to get away? <laughs> so if I'm ever faced with a shark, I'll just punch it in the face. I feel that's what we tell the UK tourists, so that when a shark attacks, you guys stay there sat in the water trying to punch a shark in the face, whilst us Aussies do the right thing and try to swim away, because you <laughs> punching a giant shark in the face is not going to do anything. Um, yeah. Why are you so afraid of dogs, though? I don't know. Maybe it was like when I was little, I got bitten or something, but I've always been afraid. Literally, my friend, like one of my best friends, Ellen, who lives mm. here, she's got a tiny Bichon freeze. And when that was a puppy, it used to like bite my feet and I literally used to cry. And it was like the size of, it was like this big. It was really small. What did you say it was? So a I, Dijon? A Bichon freeze. I think it's like a, oh. so it looks like a small poodle. 
I was going to say because I thought Thanks. Dijon was a type of mustard. I thought it was like Dijon. a yeah. <laughs> Dijon mustard. <laughs> a mustard dog. Um, and the final question was, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear when you arrive at the pearly gates? That I've made my time on Earth very useful and just taken every opportunity with two hands, not wasted any time. Perfect. Well, um, Ellie, before I let you go, any other accents that you would like to demonstrate for your captive audience? Oh, I think I've burnt all my accents out, you know? Oops. They need to recharge. I need to learn some new ones. Do you <laughs> have an American accent? Oh, my gosh, let's not even go there. Me and Nancy, actually, if you had me and Nancy on here, oh, we could right. do a she back was, and forth. She was mentioning it. Well, yes. Can you say can't? What, in, um, in America? Yeah, can't. Can't, can't. No, that's Australian. No, Australians say can't. 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 Can you say can't? Can't. Can't. Ooh. <laughs> can't. I don't know. I don't think I can do that. I can't. I can't. Ooh. Can you say glass of water? That's a very New glass Yorkan thing. Glass of water. Thing. Glass. Glass of water. Glass of water. What? Wa glass of water. Water. <laughs> you should be. You should be one of them people that trains actors like with their accents. Oh no, no, mine. Training mine is. Me very no. well. I literally know these phrases. Glass of water. In fact, if you say, "Can I have a?" If you go with your UK accent, and say, "Can I have a glass of water?" They actually sometimes in New York they won't know what you mean. You literally need to. Hmm. You actually need to learn a, a new, a, an American accent so they understand what you're saying. Next time I'm next time in there, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna say it in my actual accent and then see if they understand. I'll recruit back. Sounds <laughs> good to me. Okay, well, Ellie, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. I hope you weren't too nervous. It's been lovely. Yeah, no, I think I settled in halfway through. Yeah, I don't understand thank why you. people are so nervous for these interviews. But anyway, um, and thank you to everyone who jumped on to the second part of the interview you didn't you didn't Mitch, miss much whilst we were off air um ellie i'll keep you on the line for just a sec but thank you to everyone for watching and we will see you next time hey guys it's adrian again if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and remember to head over to pageantlaunch.com and join the launch team for our pageant review site all you need to do is put in your email address thanks and uh, speak to you next time